this is Oddity San Francisco. I recently bought a deformed skull from a customer for $1,200. And I'm taking it to a pathologist at the University of California in San Francisco to see if he knows what caused the deformity. If it's a rare condition, like the one that afflicted the elephant man, it'd be worth a lot more than what I paid for it. Hello, Dr. Sanchez. Welcome to the UCSF Anatomy Learning Center. Wow, I've never been in a lab this big before. This is beautiful. Uh, how many bodies do you have in here? There's a roughly about 30 bodies. In this lab, you'll see that there are a number of covered bodies. These individuals, during life, decided to donate their body to science. Every time we see a change in a body, it's a new story, and how they unravel that story is very fascinating and it's never dull. Thank you so much for bringing me here and I have a bit of a mystery. Great, I'm excited. <laughs> I've seen a few anomalies, but nothing like quite like this. Here you wow. go. This is a great specimen. There are several things that could cause this, but this optic glioma is characteristically associated with a genetic disease that's called neurofibromatosis. You get these tumors along nerve tracts. The gene that's altered in this disease process allows the cells to grow uncontrolled. Okay. These cells proliferate along the nerve tracts, producing these tumors not only coming off the brain, but also on the trunk of the body. How often do you come across skulls like this? Not that often. So that makes me feel like I really made a good decision yesterday. From what you've told me, I feel like it would be worth about $4,000. That's why I was excited for you to come and visit. Thank you so much for your time You're today. You're welcome, Wednesday. Yes, have a great day.